What's up guys, Magic Nafs here, and yeah, I have to, I just had to jump on the bandwagon of this whole Peter Parker face ch change controversy and ordeal because I'm currently doing a walkthrough for Spider-Man Miles Morales, and even though Peter Parker doesn't play a big role in this game, he will down the road, and I just don't see how this franchise is going to survive with this dramatic change like honestly insomniac made a huge huge mistake they just they just changed something that wasn't already that was already perfect you know like if it ain't broke don't fix it insomniac now in this video like i'm not gonna dive too deep into this whole controversy and the reasons why like i will talk a bit about it but like if you've watched a couple videos uh, in regards to this whole matter already then you probably already know the gist of it but you know I'm just showing some some clips of some of my gameplay that I've done for Miles Morales as well as my own previous uh, walkthrough of Spider-Man PS4 the original one so not the remastered version I'm definitely am not f fond of the remastered version given the fact that they it, it does include uh, Peter Parker's new face and all that stuff so if anything support the original the original character and and face actor to millions of fans John Bupniak was the perfect face for Peter Parker as a mature 23 year old this new actor of Ben Jordan just looks like a 16 year old like he's barely much older than Miles and that really causes a an issue when you watch the gameplay now of remastered of the remastered version and now I'm just showing you some clips of my own gameplay of the original which should have been what they should have just continued with now obviously insomniacs already made their claim on why they've done this in terms of saying that they wanted to get an actor that was closer to Yuri Lowenthal's uh, face, um, or, because he is the uh, he's the voice actor for for Peter Parker and slash Spider Man. But face wise, they just decided to go with Ben Jordan because he was closer to that. But the problem is, I maybe I wouldn't have been maybe we wouldn't have been so anal about this if. Possibly they have modified uh, Ben Jordan's face a little bit more. You know, they could have made his hair a bit thicker. They could have made it a bit longer, and his face a bit darker. But the fact is, is that they it, they made his face look too young. The, they they didn't even bother to touch it up or make it at least somewhat close to the original. And when you're gonna make such a big change like this it's gonna cause issues like large issues with with the fans because once you've spent what 70 hours with a character you will develop a personal attachment to that character and when insomniac destroys that well that ruins the vibe for us fans and players when we play this game moving forward now granted thankfully when it comes to miles morales we barely have to we're not playing as Peter Parker we're playing as Miles Morales so we already are are receiving less of that issue because well we don't encounter him as much but even in the in the few scenes that we are encountering Peter Parker unmasked it's it honestly just like it it's such a turn off to to see the new face just like literally copied and pasted on it just does not work for for me nor does it does for millions of fans right now and now the reasons behind it is again like insomniac is claiming that it just they wanted to make it better for the next gen console and having a better match for the voice actors uh, face but that is really not a legit reason for for myself and again millions of other fans in fact like we have made such a uh, complaint about it that you know there's petitions now 
crying out to bring John Bubniak's face back into Spider-Man Remastered and Miles Morales and moving forward. Like this could potentially destroy this amazing franchise of this new Spider-Man series um, for the PS4. Like Insomniac already did such an amazing job with the first game. I don't understand or see how they could make this move and jeopardize their their like potential future with with this game like this could be like the next best series for the next five years or something like that you know so if if they say like for what they say is true I feel like the least they could have done is again just modify the hair because the hair was just so like it was so off-putting and as well as like it was just his face was just way too bright there would be scenes if you watch the final moments with Peter and Dr. Octavius in that like his face was way brighter than it was in the original like that just doesn't make sense at all it's like you were purposely showing off the fact that you changed and modified Peter's face like this to to prove that like just to rub it in our face literally that you did this like that you did this terrible terrible decision and now coming to like you know the true reasons like these are just conspiracy theories obviously but with John Bubniak you know like one of the biggest conspiracy theories right now is that you know Insomniac and just and John Bubniak just did not meet eye to eye when it came to contracts or something like that they might have had some contract dispute in regards to future games and therefore you know insomnia might have made the tough call to have to let john let john go and therefore they had to recast the face character for peter which honestly like how hard is it to pay your actor especially when it's like you're a multi-million dollar um, game game company and you are like being supported by millions and millions of fans now with just this one game and honestly like with a lot of the petitions going down right now that people are you know signing for like there is a lot of if there is quite a many petitions right now going on that are begging for John Bubniak to come back as Peter Parker. Will that happen? Probably not. But that's not to say that John hasn't uh, tried to tease us with a few uh, tweets of his. If I don't know if you spend enough time checking out some other videos um, from other channels that have talked about this, you will know what I mean. But let's say if they don't. If they don't do anything, like, like if they are not able to bring back John for whatever reason, or maybe they just they refuse to listen to their fans, like how hard is it to do that? Just to modify a a, a character's face, right? Because when uh, when Sonic the Hedgehog trailer came out, every uh, all the fans were just going crazy about that. They were really upset about that. And you know what? The film directors and editors listened, and a couple months down the road, they made the change. And people were so much more happier about the result. Like, in the end, isn't it just about, like, is, it's, isn't it less about making the game, like, less catered to next gen and whatever future possibilities? Isn't it just more about listening to your fans and and listening to their feedback and giving them what they want like because in the end it's about us being feeling satisfied when we are playing your game like forget about the money and the and just like what what the future holds for for your game just think about your fans right so with just the simple modification of like you know increasing like darkening the hair thickening it you know darkening the 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 tone of the skin a little bit more like maybe i could be a little bit more i could warm up a little bit more to peter brooks new face but until then this is like this is like possibly the beginning of a disaster for what could have been a really good franchise for for spider-man but let me know what your thoughts are in the comments below um thanks for watching and i hope you enjoy my Spider-Man Miles Morales walkthrough as well. I'll leave that in the description as well.
Until next time, peace out, guys.